Do you take a calcium supplement? Are you scared to take a calcium supplement? Well, there is some information and misinformation about calcium supplementation. I'm gonna break it all down for you and you shouldn't be taking a calcium supplement until you get some of this very important information. Now, when we talk about calcium, we may have heard in the news that we should never take calcium. It can be very dangerous, it can clog your arteries. Well, that is partially true if you're taking the wrong type of calcium and you're lacking a key nutrient. And of course, that key nutrient is vitamin K2, as well as other nutrients like magnesium to help with the proper absorption and making sure that that calcium, in terms of vitamin K2, that calcium is going where it should go. And that's what vitamin K2 does. It's like the air traffic controller directing in those airplanes in a busy airport vitamin K2 is going to direct calcium where to go. So ideally into our bones, into our teeth, into our metabolism so that it's useful and not going into things like our arteries to cause those blockages. Now my favorite type of calcium to take is a whole food calcium. And this is something that's really interesting that when and what the research shows is that taking a whole food calcium from a source such as a fossilized above sea level coral calcium has a higher bioavailability, a better absorption rate and is utilized by the body much better than other types of conventional calcium supplements. Now, another factor when we're talking about calcium, did you know that if you are lacking in calcium, you can actually be gaining weight? And this was based on one study that was done in perimenopausal and menopausal women. They found that if they had a low calcium status that was correlated to putting on more body fat, and your body actually goes into something called lipogenesis, the making of more fat when you're lacking enough of that proper calcium. So let's talk about some of my tips now, what you're looking for when you're looking for a good quality calcium supplement. Okay, number one, I've already mentioned this, fossilized coral calcium. And that means that it is above sea level. You are not depleting the oceans of the coral when you're taking this type of calcium. It's already fossilized. But number two on my list, it does contain over 60 different trace minerals, which is naturally occurring from that coral. Amazing because these minerals, things like boron, rubidium, silica, are naturally occurring in the coral helps with the proper absorption of that calcium. Okay, number three on my list, it should be radiation tested. So this is really important for any type of coral product that it has been tested to be free of radiation toxicity. Number four, it's also been heavy metal tested. Again, when you're taking different supplements, you always wanna make sure it's always coming from a GMP manufacturer. That means good manufacturing practices. It's really important that it's a reputable company that you're purchasing from and that they're doing all of this testing which every supplement company should be doing, but I know for a fact that they don't because it's very expensive. So this is really important that you're asking of the company that you're purchasing from that they're doing that testing. Okay, number six on my list is that your calcium doesn't have any fillers, a big one to look for on your label microcrystalline cellulose. This is basically made from wood chips, can cause some gastric distress, gas and bloating for people that are sensitive to it. It is a type of fiber, and not everybody agrees with that microcrystalline cellulose. And one of the big reasons why they use it in the industry is to fill up the capsules or to make those hard tablets. Again, you may not be getting the full value of those active ingredients in your calcium supplement if there's a lot of filler in there. Okay, number seven on my list is make sure that there's no other additives in there. So things like silicon dioxide, titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide has now been banned in the European Union. You wanna make sure it's not not in your supplements because in a lot of countries it is still very much allowed and it's something that you have to think twice about in terms of if you research this and I've got other videos on titanium dioxide some really scary side effects and consequences of taking this in your supplements and number eight on my list is make sure your calcium supplement doesn't have any magnesium stearate now this is not magnesium as the supplement this is magnesium stearate it is a chemical that's used to help to speed up production times it makes the raw materials much less sticky on the machinery and yeah, great for the machines, but not great for you. Now for what to look for in a high quality fish oil supplement. So if you do love your fish oil, there are some good and not so good fish oils as well. I want you to learn more about that. Please check out my video, fake fish oil, what to look for. I'll see you there.